When I go into somebody's house, sometimes, well, always, I'll check their knives out. I found that in general, people don't take care of their tools, that people are not paying attention to this aspect. And, and yet, when they get turned on to what sharp is, regardless of what kind of knives they have, that there's a new level of excitement and kind of a, a new level of engagement with cooking. So it's really fun to turn people on to this simple thing, make your tools sharp. People are always asking me, what is sharp and how do I get there? Well, if you have a knife that's truly sharp, then it's very easy to cut food like the tops off of a carrot or to cut a piece of paper. If your knife can cut paper this easily, it's sharp. A little bit more difficult test is slicing magazine paper. It's very thin and very slick. And if you can roll a piece of magazine paper and make a cut like that, your knife is sharp. If you don't want to cut paper, you can always cut food. And if you can easily slice a tomato, that's sharp. A little bit more difficult test is an onion. The paper on this onion is very slick. And if your knife just bites right into the edge of the paper, that's sharp. Now I'm going to dull this knife so that you can see what dull looks like. I'm going to take the sharpening steel and actually roll the edge of the knife over to the side. And let's do the same test. Here's a piece of magazine paper. It will not cut it. And if I roll it, it definitely will not cut it. The same thing will happen with the onion. It basically just wants to slide along the paper of the onion. I can make it cut, but it's not truly sharp. That's a dull knife, and when it begins to perform like that, I know it's time to either use my honing tools or my stoning tools.